Statistics from the Children's Advocacy Group of Hidalgo County tells us that one in four girls and one in six boys will be sexually abused before the age of 18. Oftentimes we are inundated with statistics and the general public tends to get weighed down by them, lest we forget that there are human beings behind these numbers. This young girl is one of them. I don't remember the exact date, but it was on a date that we were practicing for our 15th and her uncle, and then they started drinking. Like around one, and they stayed drinking, and I fell asleep. Felt someone touched me, that's when I woke up, and like, I think he saw me when I woke up, and like, he pulled my tights back up, but I saw him like, touch my butt and my thighs. Because you can't let it happen again, because he already did it once. This young girl's case has been referred to the proper authorities, and is currently being handled by the district attorney's office. When I paid a visit to district attorney Rene Guerra, he was discussing with his assistant DA a sexual abuse case involving a little league coach and one of his players. These cases inherently are difficult to try because it, usually it's a swear match with little or no corroboration. The challenge is, is really at, at, the, uh, at the initial stage of the uh, case when it's reported. Usually it's not reported timely. So the investigation uh, really sets a tone as to whether down the road we're going to have more problems uh, in, in and around the courtroom in, in dealing with these cases. The countless sex offender locator sites on the internet show a crowded field, but one that appears to be working. Child Protective Services have removed 890 children from homes deemed unsafe in the Rio Grande Valley in 2011. One of the victims that could not be helped was Estrella Rojas. Her story dates back 12 years ago to 2000 of this month, when Edinburgh police were called to an apartment complex to investigate a kidnapping. Estrella's mother had a heated argument with her boyfriend the night before, and when the mother awoke, the boyfriend and Estrella were gone. In later questioning, the boyfriend would confess to kidnapping and killing two-year-old Estrella Rojas. This is the last known photo of her. This sanctuary for victims of abuse was created so that Estrella's life might not be in vain. We just are the very beginning of the investigation, or the police investigation, Child Protective Services investigation. So we partner with all the police departments, uh, local law enforcement, and Child Protective Services, along with the DA's office as well, to come together as a team to help this child or the children go through the court system. Estrella's memory lives on, and her house gives people hope and serves as a refuge and healing place for victims just like her. If you see something that's going on, um, the worst thing you can do is nothing and not report it. Stop that cycle. The better we get at reversing the effects of that, stopping the cycle of the abuse, then only can we have a, a really good future with, with these millions of cases that we deal with. If you know a child who is being abused, be it sexual or otherwise, it is your responsibility to report it. You can do so by calling the Texas Abuse Hotline at 1-800-252-5400 or visiting www.txabusehotline.org. You can also make donations to Estrella's house, monetary or otherwise, by visiting cachidalgo.org.